as promised, I'm going to be going through my morning skincare routine today. Later on, I will have a video on my nighttime skincare routine. I want to make sure that you know that I am 55 years old. I have a lot of concerns with my skin. I have very dry skin and I live in a very dry climate anyway. Also, as I have gone through menopause, I have developed quite sensitive skin, so I have to be careful with that as well. And then my aging concerns, or my youthful aging concerns, this is the new phrase that I just re recently heard, youthful aging. I think that's way better than anti-aging or mature skin. Those concerns are dark spots, sagging skin, wrinkles, and I do have a lot of redness, uneven texture, pores that seem to be getting bigger the older I get. So those are the things that I try to tackle in my skincare. But before we get into that, really quickly, I do always show my shirt because everybody asks me every time what I have on. So I will show my shirt really quickly right here. And then the jewelry, the makeup that I am wearing today, fingernails, everything, that will be listed and linked below. So I'm gonna talk about the products and then I'll show you on a split screen or the full screen what I am doing as I apply them. Let's start out with the cleanser that I use in the morning. This is the Green Plum Refreshing Cleanser from Beauty by Joseon. And why I love this one is because I just feel like it really cleanses off all those oils that I've had the night on me the night before. And a lot of people don't do that cleanse in the morning. I feel like it's so important because I've got occlusive products on my skin, meaning I've got products on my skin from the night before that I've laid on there very heavy and very thick in order to lock in my moisture. So if I don't get up and take that off, anything that I have on is not going to penetrate if it's still on there. So cleansing in the morning is very, very important to me. And this one from Beauty by Josiane does the trick so well. Now, the next step that I use is the Naturium Vitamin C Super Serum Plus. And this has in it vitamin C, retinol, hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and salicylic acid. Those acids and the vitamin C are balanced and the retinol are balanced really, really well in this product. You don't have to worry about them being balanced when you do buy a product like this because they are already balanced for you by the manufacturer. And the other thing is I had a lot of people say vitamin C doesn't work if it's not L-ascorbic acid. Well, this does have ascorbic acid in it. And the reason that I use this one in particular is because it doesn't upset my mature skin and I still see great benefits from it. You know, our vitamin C product is for an antioxidant and for a brightener vitamin c is just an all-around good skincare item in order to keep us younger and more youthful by fighting off free radicals and brightening our skin and all the wonderful things that it does and not only does this do that but it has those other acids in there and the niacinamide in there all of those are beneficial for aging skin. So I really love this serum. I do wanna say that when you're using a vitamin C, and I've learned this very recently, and I think it's a huge tip that I have missed out on for years and years, is that make sure that after you cleanse, your skin is dry, thus you'll see the fan that I'm using right here. And then after you use this, make, make sure that it dries down on your skin before you put on any more product. The reason being is that because of the pH of vitamin C, you can also almost null and void its effects if you use water in conjunction, conjunction with it. So you're really wanting to really let that product dry down and make sure that it's not even hardly tacky at all. This one will stay, you know, quite tacky for quite a little bit because it does have the acids in it, but you want to make sure that you let it dry down for its maximum benefit on your skin. And the other one that I go in next with is the Cosrx 6 Peptide Serum. Now this does have copper peptides in it and copper peptides does better again on that dry skin. So I go in immediately after the vitamin C has dried down with this one. Copper peptides and all the other peptides that are in here are so great for rejuvenation of our skin and it gives our skin that extra boost to help the collagen build back also copper copper peptides helps with the elastin building in our skin and as we get into menopause our skin really can droop and it really does lose a lot of firmness i'm finding that like no other right now because not only did i hit menopause but i did end up losing a little bit more weight in total i've lost over 140 pounds and so what happens when that when that has ballooned out your skin's ballooned out and now it's sunk back in like a balloon does 
Um, and so when you lose all that, you start to get that sagginess. And I really have noticed that this past year. So copper peptides and all the peptides that are in here are really, really important for me. The next thing I do is I mix two products together. And these to me are two of my very favorite ingredients that you use. And the one is the Benton Fermentation F Essence with Bifida and Galactomyces in it. And the other one is the Ginseng Essence from Beauty by Joseon, or of Joseon, excuse me. So I'll put some of this in my hand and then go in with the Benton in my hand, and then I'll pat this all over my face. This one from Benton, if you have not been with me, I've been talking about this essence for such a long time. The fermentation processes in here have found to be very brightening, rejuvenating for wrinkles and smoothing out. And then the ginseng in here does have some ni niacinamide in the ginseng essence from Beauty of Joseon. And what I love about that is the glow that you get from that. Not only from niacinamide, because niacinamide can give you a great glow in helping to calm your skin and helping your skin to look more rejuvenated, but also what's beautiful is ginseng does that hyper moisturization and it helps with the glow as well. So these two together are great. I use them at the same time. Next thing I do is I paint on the eyelash serum that I've been using. This is Vibe Beauty's eyelash serum. It's got a great peptide lineup in it and amino acids. Both of those are so good for helping things to grow and rejuvenate. And so this has been really good and I've really been enjoying it as well. And then next I've been talking about for some time now since it came out from Dermatology, the HPR eye cream. It has a retinoic acid in it, which is a retinoid. I use this morning and night as my eye cream. And I have said it over and over again is that for the first time, I really noticed changes on the lids, not just under my eyes, which I need help with dark circles and wrinkles and crow's feet underneath. But my lids have really softened and the crinkles on my lids have really smoothed out. And I do feel like this eye cream from Dermatology has contributed to that. So this one is an absolute for me. And this is my third bottle of it. And I'm just loving what it's doing to my eyelids as well as my under eyes. The next thing I do is I do these two products together. And all of you had, that have been with me know that Suko Yakasu Hata Urea Moisture Lotion is an essence that I use. And yes, I've put this essence on after some serums. I understand that lots of people don't do that, but when it all mixes together, it's going to sink into your skin anyway. And I find that this is just fine for me. You might want to go by the rule of the thinnest formula first, but for me, this works okay. And this one is from CosRx and it's the Advanced Snail Radiance dual essence. One side has niacinamide and the other side has snail mucin. Snail mucin has been found to be this super hydrator. So both of these are uber hydrating. They are very, very soothing and they are really great for my sensitive skin, my sensitive dry skin. And what I love about it is I can mix them together. They can go right on my face. I can feel that effect of just calming and soothing my sensitive skin. And if I've done anything the night before that may have my skin in a little bit of an upheaval, then definitely this is like a one, two, three punch because you get the two products in here and then the one product in here with the urea essence. This is something I've been talking about forever for calming and for how hydrating it is. So if you have dry skin, you really want to look into this. If you have normal to oily skin, this serum right here with the dual niacinamide and snail mucin, you're still going to love it because even though you might have oily skin, it still needs hydrated. I don't want to forget the eye cream that I use on top of the dermatology eye cream is also from Suko Yakasuhara and it's the urea eye cream. This is where my hyper moisturization around my eyes come in. I just feel like it's the extra punch in my routine that helps me get smooth looking makeup around my eyes. I definitely don't want to forget that while I'm doing my makeup or while I'm doing my skincare routine, I always go in with City Lips. And I know that this little tube right here is quite expensive, but they do have a buy one, get one free. And I think that's coming up sometime in March. This is my treatment that I absolutely love on my lips. I can put this on at night and in the morning, my lips will still have a little bit of this on. I love this. And I feel like it really does fight those nasty vertical lines that we get around our lips. And it also plumps up your lips visibly as you're using it. So if you're somebody that has super dry lips and you need nourishment, the ingredients in here are really good. And you know how sometimes when we wear lipstick or when we wear lip glosses, 
afterwards our lips can feel dried out this does not do this this is a gloss that is so nourishing and so hydrating and it definitely can last a very long time but it is my skincare treatment in my regimen for my lips lastly do not forget your sunscreen your spf i talked about how important this is in my seven ingredients for aging skin video this is so so important if you are buying all of this skincare and you're not putting on an spf at the end of it you might as well throw all the rest of that skincare in the garbage because the sun is the number one damager of damager of our skin that damage whether it is from direct sunlight indirect sunlight you know coming up at us whatever i mean even if you go to your mailbox and you think i don't need i don't need sunscreen because i don't go outside do you go to your mailbox do you sit in front of a window do you walk your dogs anything like that you have to have sunscreen and it has to be reapplied throughout the day now this is not what i reapply but this is what i do apply in the morning and it is uh, from the inky list this is the polyglutamic acid dewy sunscreen with an spf of 30 30 is the least that you want to use so 30 and above are great for you to be able to get all of the benefits from the uva and the uvb ray blocking so we want to stay on top of our sunscreen this one is so good because it is dewy again but it's not greasy i love that about it and i also love that it doesn't feel super heavy on my skin i put on a ton of things that are moisturizing already this just seems to lock it in but i get my sun protection number one sun protection that is absolute do not skip it now i know i'm going to get some of you say what what would you buy if you were just starting out first of all i would absolutely buy the sunscreen no doubt i would also absolutely get the vitamin c 100 percent. you have to have some sort of a cleanser 100 percent. and i would get the eye cream those are the four things that i would absolutely get and then start adding in the other ingredients as you like the peptides are super important as well but if you're just starting out and you want a bare bones routine and something that you're going to see changes from it would be these four products right here so i hope that that does help you and i'm glad that i got to bring it to you and if you have any questions at all just make sure you go down into the comment section and ask me i read through everybody's comments and i try very hard to to definitely answer any questions that you might have and skincare is so important that i feel like you're going to get a full answer from me almost every time unless i'm possibly under the weather for that day but i do appreciate you spending some of your time with me today i know your time is every bit as precious as my time and so spending some time with me and supporting my channel does mean so very much to me and i want you to know that please hit the like button on your way out of here. That would help me out as well. And I hope that you're all doing very well yourself. Take care of yourselves. I love you much. And I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye, my friends.